know what you're probably thinking. This looks like a secret government communication base, and you might think that these satellites are spying on someone, or maybe even talking to aliens. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but... Uh, we are not looking for aliens, as far as I know. Um, if they come knocking on the front door, we're not gonna say no, so... <laughs> Welcome to the Owens Valley Radio Observatory, located just outside of Bishop, California, in the little town of Big Pine. Uh, in Bishop, it's just referred to as the ears, the big ears. Locals call it big ears because they think researchers like Travis Powell are listening for something. But once again, I'm gonna have to disappoint. No, we're not listening. We never put on headphones and actually listen to what the telescope picks up. So what exactly are these giant dishes doing? Our main project going on right now, COMAP, which stands for the Carbon Monoxide Mapping Array Pathfinder. That's a big, big word big there. Big word, yeah. CO mapping is actually just one of several projects going on here at Big Ears. The Owens Valley Radio Observatory is one of the largest university-operated radio observatories in the world. And the radio telescope that Travis is using is sort of like a carbon monoxide time machine. By looking at carbon monoxide at different times and places in the universe, uh, we can get an idea of how star formation and galaxy formation occurred at those times. A lot of what goes on here is highly technical and not very visual. These telescope dishes shoot and record radio waves that are processed through complex computers, then converted into data that only scientists can read. You're not going to be able to pick this up at Best Buy or anything. Definitely not, no. The telescopes were built in the Owens Valley because they have clear skies and it's far from radio electrical interference. Essentially, it's in the middle of nowhere. This observatory is in a high, dry environment to avoid that atmosphere as much as possible. The telescopes come in all shapes and sizes and search all sorts of things. This 40 meter dish studies black holes, these medium dishes locate fast radio bursts, and these coat hanger looking things search for red shifts, whatever that is. Could, could we use some of the data gathered here for future like space travel or? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of what's done here is way over my head. But the good news is, the radio observatory is open to the public. And if you take a tour, you can ask as many questions as you want. So it looks at 2,500 blazars and active galactic nuclei over the course of a week. It looks at that one, a couple thousand of these. Did you just make these. that word up there? No, no. From the complex radio fields of the Owens Valley, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back row. Hey, thanks for watching and check out some other videos just like this one. Also, subscribe and write in the comments and tell me where else I should be checking out. Yeah, hit this button right here. It's, it's a really good video, just, just hit it. I'm gonna stand here a while, so just, just click it.